Today is Wednesday, March 10th, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently a beautiful 60 degrees and sunny in Syracuse. I'm Ashley Winskowski, and here's what you need to know. Today marks one year since Syracuse University suspended residential instruction due to the coronavirus. The university moved all classes online, abroad programs were shut down, and in-person commencement was canceled. Since the pandemic began, there have been over 32,000 confirmed cases and over 600 deaths in Onondaga County. With vaccines now here, things are starting to look better for Syracuse University's upcoming fall semester. You know, I, I do think come the fall, we are going to be back to um, normal, if not normal, capacity. New York State has given Syracuse University the green light to continue hosting students at the Carrier Dome for the next two lacrosse games. This comes after what the university is calling a very positive experience hosting student fans over the weekend. The first game will be this Sunday against Notre Dame and on March 20th students can attend the game against Hofstra. Both games are only available for current SU students and the game this Sunday will prioritize first year and transfer students. Governor Cuomo announced extended eligibility for the COVID-19 vaccine. Starting today, people over the age of 60 are able to get, get a shot. In addition, the governor announced that starting on March 17th, individuals who work in public-facing roles will also be able to get the vaccine. Coming up on Citrus TV News Live at 6, after winter storms thrashed the state of Texas, find out how citizens are recovering. That's all the time we have for you on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us on Twitter at Citrus TV News. I'm Ashley Winskowski. Have a great evening, Syracuse.